Oh, jeez, this is a tough corn. <laughs> The next point we're heading for is the uh, split rock and the split rock is this lad is lost and he's a danger um, the split rock is much like the Motti stone which is one of my first videos in this uh, photo ready series it's an erratic which is just uh, a large stone boulder in a place where it really shouldn't be and it was transported there from the Ox Mountains during the last ice age and as, uh, as with the Motti stone, the way for people in the past to explain these um, strange phenomenon of these large stones where they really shouldn't be was to attribute them to the legends. And again, this is Fionn McCool again. This stone was... Uh, hold on, I'm going straight through this one, sorry. Um, when he... He was having a... A giant stone throwing contest on the top of the Ox Mountains and he threw this rock and it landed where it landed but he was utterly disgusted at the fact that he didn't manage to throw it into the sea so in temper he charged down from the, the mountain and took his, his sword and cleaved the rock in half Uh, I think it's six meters by two and a half meters in size. I can't remember how that compares to the Motti stone. I think I think it's smaller. What this actually, the split rock is actually an example of freeze thaw action. There may have been a small fissure or something or crack in the rock. And back again to your juniors or geography, freeze thaw action is where a small crack in the rock appears. It fills with water when it rains. Then when the temperatures drop, the water turns to ice, and as we know, ice expands. And then when the warm weather comes, the ice uh, melts, and so the water contracts. It fills up again with um, more water, and again turns to ice, which expands even more. And over a period of time, this leads to a break, the rock breaking. Uh, but this uh, this has broken in a particularly cool way insofar as it's, it, it does actually look like someone's chopped it in half with a big sword. Yeah, it's a stunning day now. It was lashing rain this morning when we were leaving. We got absolutely soaked and... My do... At the Church of Ireland site. It was just a miserable experience, really. Compared to now, or like you could, uh, you could ride around in this. I'll try something a bit daft here. Uh, 
I got one. I want to see if I can get another one. Jesus, that's more exercise than I'm used to. <laughs> now, the legend is, if you go through that three times, yeah. third time it snaps. If, I what? if you walk through it three times, the third time it closes on you. Are you going to push your luck now, Paul? <laughs> I have no luck <laughs> Now, the most dignified way to get out of here. So it's uh, 10 past 9 in the evening. It's uh, 26 more minutes to get to the next photo rally point, which is the Laten Stone. And it's in that league, I think, uh, in the grounds of a house there, the name of which escapes me. I'm suffering now from a long, long day. So basically, this is a granite stone that has been decorated in the Latin style. Uh, there's not much known about the stone, is it? Is it from the Latin period or is it just a stone that was decorated in the Latin style? It's hard to know. Uh, but the Latin style is a very curvilinear style. It's kind of a precursor to the kind of art you'd find in the uh, in the Book of Kells. That kind of ornate swirls and things. Latin is a very complicated term because Latin art refers to late iron age stuff so it would be metalworking in a kind of metalworking that kind of curvilinear style onto brooches shields sword hand hilts ornamental style for jewelries and bronze and things like that um, But the the Latin, the kind of where it comes from is the there's a oh I've forgotten that it's Lake something in Austria, and basically I think in the the 19th century 1850s or something past I could be wrong on that now, uh, but definitely in the 19th century, uh, the water level in a lake, Henkenschenkel or something I can I'll put it up here. Um, the water level in that lake dropped and they found um, thousands of artifacts which were kind of I suppose probably votive offerings thrown into the, the lake as offerings to some Celtic god or other but um, thousands and thousands of them were discovered when the level of the, the water level in the lake dropped and they were all d decorated in this kind of same kind of leafy swirling incredibly ornate design and a kind of uh, it's dated to uh, 450 BC I think up until around the first century AD is when it was kind of 
kind of the, the expansion of the, the Roman Empire kind of spelt the end of the the Latin uh, purple patch or whatever you call it because the Celts were the kind of the Celts were the ones who kind of practiced it and the Romans kind of spelled the end of the Celts Celtic tribes so not a whole lot more I can say about it like Latin is a very contentious kind of term anyway in terms of history because I mean there are stones decorated in the Latin style so it's prehistoric but it's also Iron Age because it was worked in, in the metalwork of the period so historians kind of struggle to agree when the Latin period was because Latin you're kind of better off thinking of Latin as an art style rather than a historic period because it kind of spans a couple of um, a couple of eras it kind of it doesn't lend itself to, to simple classification strategies so you can't really date an artifact based on the fact that it has Latin art on it because it could be it could be an art style you know imitating an older style but again the fuck do I know I could be making all this up so as always very much open to correction on all of this stone now let's try and turn this around will I turn around no I won't I'll pull it back here ah, there that'll do oh I did that gear Castle Strange, that was the name of the place. <laughs> Flowing geometrical motifs in the Latin art style sometime in the last few centuries before Christ. Only three other stones of this type exist. Oh yeah, the Toro Stone is another one. And there's another one that's broken, I think. Yeah, and it's allegedly used as a kind of a... This National Monument is in the care of the Commission of the Public Works of State under the provisions of the National Monument Act. Aid the Commissioners in preserving it. Injury or defacement is severely punishable by law, and rightly so. It's too dark now to get the footage of it. It's fairly weathered. So that's the Latin stone done, and that is the end of today's photo rally junket. It's 5 to 10, and I still have an hour's spin in front of me to get home. But it's been a thoroughly enjoyable day. Today we have Madhu, Church of Ireland, the signal in Drummond, the blast furnace in Crivelle, whatever that is, the July Brief, which is the Coney Island Causeway Pillars, Split Rock in Sligo, and finally the Latin Stone in Athleague. I've, I've lost count. How many is that? Is that six? Six points today? So that's that's fairly good going. I'm fairly happy with that. Uh, it was good old crack with Paul as well. Found it tricky enough to vlog with him though because it's very hard to kind of vlog when there's somebody else there. You're kind of 
conscious that you don't want to sound like a dickhead. Normally when I'm doing this I just talk away like a dickhead and nobody listens to me so it's grand but and also you're trying to video without videoing him because you're not sure whether he wants to be on Facebook or, or not Facebook the other thing YouTube still it was good to have the company and it was a good old crack 257 miles done and I still have 67 kilometers to go so what's that 160 so 50 is 30 35 40 miles to go on the rest so about 300 and, uh, 350 all told before I get home but there's some savage roads again savage scenery I, ha I can't stress enough the photo rally is just such a good way of getting out and around the country and seeing things that you just would never see and riding roads you just would never think of riding but thanks for checking out the video um, and checking out the channel if you're new here please consider subscribing and if this vlog turns out to be absolute crap don't judge my channel on this vlog alone there are some other crap vlogs you can judge it on so go to the channel and check those out if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing uh, I think I'm on 68 subs now which is somewhere I really never thought I'd be with the channel so thanks to everyone who has subscribed feel free to like subscribe share spread the word etc etc yada 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 I'm back to being in my rambling state now after <coughs> after 12 hours in the saddle so yes I will be leaving it there because it's gone too dark now to video anything anyway so right all the best guys thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one oh bye bye